Thank you in advance. So I'm going through major transitions in my life. Welcome I, to Planet Earth. Right. <laughs> yes. And Welcome to expansion. Right. And I'm very excited about yeah. it. Yeah. And of course, I have been shifting directions through the process. Contrast is providing me with... Clarity. A great deal of it. Yeah. So... Oh, clarity is just such a big nugget. Such a big bonus. My job now, that I'm not working a job, is to be happy. Yeah. And to... Follow the impulse. Right. From there. So I'm living in a strange world that uh, not a lot of people are living in. Oh, it's not a strange world. It's the world you came to live in. Right. The strangers are outside of that world. Justifying their existence. Surrounded by them, right? So... Yeah. But they don't come up close to you unless you get a bead on them and activate them in you. Or push against them. Get in competition with them. Oh, I found the brave new way and you are all behind. The challenge that I find myself facing is being happy when circumstances certainly don't dictate a great deal of... That's the thing, we know. Because most people are having a knee-jerk, conditional response to life. So if they see something that makes them feel good, they do. If they see something that makes them feel bad, they do. But they don't seem to have any control. But if you can get out ahead of it just a little bit by acknowledging that you get to create your own reality and that your thoughts accomplish things and that you have guidance within you so that you can guide your thoughts more and more and you care more about getting into the receiving mode and thinking those thoughts than being in this receiving mode and thinking those thoughts. You've heard enough just today to make everything different from here on out. I, I just don't want to be afraid anymore because I know once I will lose the fear, then it will, it will all come. But you see... We like it when you feel fear because it's your indicator that your thought is all screwed up. Mm. Mm. When you feel fear, just stop and say to yourself, hmm, I seem to be having a disagreement with my inner being. My inner being is looking at this exact thing that I'm looking at, but my inner being has a different opinion about it than I do. And as you reach this moment and when it comes up again and when it comes up again for what that must mean so that you begin leaning more in the direction of the satisfying thought about it that your inner being is thinking rather than the dissatisfying thought that you are thinking it'll take that edge off and the momentum will start leaning more in your favor do you get that i do and so what are you fearful of do you want to talk about it what sure what I, is failure it? and not being able to stay in my house. But let's talk about it from your first response. Isn't this interesting? You'll like this. Esther's grandson wanted to know what irony is, and this is that. So listen to the way this unfolds. So I feel fear that I will fail. And the reason that I feel this fear is because I'm focused upon failure and my inner being isn't. So the reason that I'm feeling fear about failure is because I'm focused in opposition with what my inner being knows about this. So I've made something up that isn't real. I'm focused upon it, and therefore I've disconnected myself from my inner being. And in that disconnection, I feel fear because I've disconnected from the energy that creates worlds. Your guidance system is working. You're not failing when you're disconnected. You're just disadvantaged. And if you keep it up, you will fail. The fear itself is such a helpful thing because it's saying to you, as long as you're thinking these thoughts, you're pinching yourself off from the resources that will help you succeed. Don't you love knowing that? What do you have fear of doing this thing I'm doing? Well, stop it. Okay. Right. W recognizing that we all are in the place in our lives. We've all been complicit in the places that we yeah. are in our life. I mean, that... Yeah. It's easy to have knee-jerk responses. But do you believe that you are the one exception in all the universe and that you don't have an inner being? No. And do you think your inner being is aware of you? Yes. And can you feel that your inner being is with you in this moment and every other? Yes. And can you feel that your inner being 
is looking forward to this progress that is happening with you, just loving the desire that you hold and enjoying watching the unfolding of it? And can you feel that fear happens in you when you get crossways of how your inner being feels about that? So when you feel fear, let it comfort you. Because mm. it means my inner being's got me and I'm not letting myself be got. My inner being has a bead on me and all that I want and somehow I've lost the focus but my inner being hasn't and therefore I feel this. One day Esther said to us, because she was feeling real bad and she said, Abraham, I think you should come here with me and think about this like I am so that I don't feel so bad. Because she knew. The reason she felt bad is because she was out on the raw and ragged edge and not letting us in. So she tried to talk us into coming out on the raw and ragged edge with her. And we said, come to us. Because we're not coming there. Come to us. It was a sort of funny moment when she realized that what she was asking us to do. Abraham, give up all that you've come to know. Forget everything that you are. Never mind everything that I am that's in my vortex. And just come here and feel bad with me. And then I won't feel bad if you'll come over here with me. <laughs> You're getting the picture of this, aren't you? And your inner being just is not ever going to budge from the evolution that you've accomplished together. And when we say you can't get it wrong, that means you cannot fail. And when we say you'll never stop expanding, there's no end to what you are. So is it correct that the timing for a manifestation is directly correlated to how aligned you are? Absolutely. And that was a beautiful way of saying that. What you're ready to receive, what you're ready to translate, what you're ready to receive. Translate into a thought, translate into a movement, translate into an impulse, translate into words, translate into action. Perfect words. But you've got to be ready to be ready. In other words, you can't just say, I'm not ready, what do I do? We say, take a nap and you'll wake up more ready. And then when you wake up, don't get less ready, get more ready. Just keep leaning toward more satisfying thoughts, more soothing thoughts. Soothing is the name of the game. I basically am trying to live my life in some form of denial of what the circumstances denying are. Denying what? Denying what you would call what was, what is. You know, trying to deny the circumstances. Here's the thing. We don't want you to deny it. We just want you to stop making it such a bad thing. We're not asking you to not face reality. We're just asking you to not make it the dominant thing that you do. We're not asking you to be a crazy nutcase. We're just asking you to put your emphasis in a more productive place. We're asking you to stop beating up on yourself and be easier about it and then be more expectant of things shifting for you and more aware of the things that are really good still anyway. You follow? I do. Enough? Thank you. Yeah. Really good.